Top 10 Places to Visit in Sydney, Australia Sydney, the most seasoned, greatest and generally wonderful Australian city, lies in the midst of an alluring blending of land and ocean. You'll climb the Harbour Connect, surf the green barrel breaks at Sydney's brilliant seashows or fly over the town on a picturesque visit. Natural life-rich wild territories encompass the city, giving engaging journey prospects. So in this video, we bring you the list of the top 10 places to visit in Sydney. Number 10. Sydney Drama One of the world's incredible symbols, the Sydney show might be a UNESCO World Heritage Site and hence star fascination on the sparkling harbour. This elegant structure, formed like shells or surging sails, roosts on a finger of land encompassed by water. Snap a photo while floating by on a harbour journey, unwind at one among the cafes. Walk around its outside or take a coordinated visit through this grand structure, which incorporates theatres, studios, display rooms, a corridor and a film. Book a Sydney drama guided walking tour to get some answers concerning the set of experiences and get an in the background look at this celebrated structure. This is a regular adaptable ticket that licenses you to hitch anyone for the visits for the duration of the day, leaving each half hour from 9am to 5pm. Devoted picture takers head to Mrs. Macquarie's chair for one among the most straightforward photograph openings. The structure is at present going through a $202 million update scheduled for culmination in mid-2021. However, it'll actually work during the reclamation. Number 9. Sydney Harbour Bridge The Sydney Harbour Bridge, or Coat Hanger as local people call it, was the city's most popular milestone before the development of the Sydney show. Upheld by monstrous two-fold docks at each end, it was implicit 1932 and remains the world's biggest steel curve connect, associating the harbour's north and south shores during a solitary bend transcending the water. Along its length run two railroad lines and eight paths for street traffic, which made change reliably with the traffic stream. Expanding span traffic supported the advancement of a harbour borough in 1992 to ease clog. Nonetheless, Drivers can, in any case, roll over the extension for blue water seas. On foot, people can walk around on walkways or join a guided rising through bridge climb for a wide running scene of the town and harbour. To get some answers concerning the extension's development, entrancing history, visit the museum inside the southeastern dock. Number 8. The Rocks On a tongue of land distending into Sydney Harbour, the Rock's notable territory was once home to the Gadigal native individuals. It later turned into the nation's first site of European settlement. The Rock's name comes from the rough coast in favour of Sydney Cove, where the convicts set up their shelters. Today, every 100 legacy destinations and structures jar along the limited roads, including Sydney's most established enduring house, Cadman's Cabin, underlying 1816. A short time later, meander around the restricted cobbled roads with their gift shops, eateries, bistros, native and contemporary art history exhibitions, or disparage the market slows down. Number 7. Harbour Cruisers from Circular K Worked by convict work in Signy Cove, clamouring Circular K is presently home to the city's primary ship terminal. A huge number of suburbanites flood the world at top hours. Bistros and eateries line the waterfront and road entertainers engage local people and guests along the bright walkways. One of the principal famous things to attempt here. Subsequently, the best gratitude to valuing Sydney's shimmering waterfront setting is to jump on board a harbour journey. Much the same as the mainstream two-hour Sydney Harbour coffee cruise, ships likewise withdraw from here to prime spots, like Manly, Watson's Bay and Taronga Park Zoo. The Sydney Whale Watching Cruise takes travellers out past Sydney Heads to take a gander at these heavenly animals during the yearly winter relocation. You can, without much of a hassle, stroll from Circular Quay to the other top attractions, head south along the waterfront promenade to the Sydney Show and the Royal Botanic Gardens. Number 6. Deer Harbour A centre for sightseers and local people the same, Darling Harbour is a waterfront walker area pressed with shops, eateries, galleries, displays and amusement settings. Families will adore Madame Tussauds, the Wildlife Sydney Zoo and the Sea Life Sydney Aquarium, which contains the world's biggest assortment of Australian marine animals. 
The Sea Life Sydney Aquarium entrance ticket is an incredible method to stretch out beyond the groups and it additionally offers limits on different attractions. Starwart Museum offers intelligent shows on science, innovation, plan and history. Conversely, nautical disapproved history buffs can load up Captain Cook's boat reproduction, endeavour at the Australian National Maritime Museum. More youthful kids will cherish the merry-go-round, jungle gym and water park, an IMAX and 9D theatre, harbour stream boat rides, mimicked flights and hustling vehicle undertakings balance the energising attractions. Number 5. The Royal Botanic Garden A peaceful desert spring in the midst of the cities hurrying around, the Royal Botanic Garden at Pham Cove lies a short and picturesque walk around the Sydney Opera House's waterfront. The nurseries were set up in 1816 and enveloped 30 hectares of themed gardens with transcending trees, palm forests, orchids, greeneries and groups of organic product bats. Visiting the nurseries is one of the numerous superb activities in Sydney for nothing. Among the features are the Palace Rose Garden which incorporates about 1,800 roses and the Glass House Latitude 23 and Fernery, overflowing with tropical foliage begonias and orchids. For the less fiery, a bounce-on, jump-off train visits the ground. After investigating the nurseries, you can unwind at the bistro or eateries or appreciate a slope excursion with excellent harbour seas. Encompassing the nurseries is the Domain, a famous occasion setting with open green space and sports zones. While you're visiting the nurseries, you can appreciate Government House sees the authority home of New South Wales, legislative leader. Number 4. Queen Victoria Building Sydney Shopping's high purpose is the Romanesque style Queen Victoria Building or QVB connected by underground arcades with Town Hall Station. Initially worked as a market lobby somewhere in 1893 and 1898, this exquisite structure is delegated by a high focal arch encompassed by 20 more modest walls. Following a while of disregard and even destruction designs, this terrific sandstone building was re-established to its unique state in the mid-1980s. Today, over 200 excellent quality shops line its light-filled displays. Number 3. The Sydney Tower Eye Towering off over the city horizon, the 309-metre-high Sydney Tower Eye is the city's tallest structure and one of its incredible milestones, other than the Opera House and Harbour Bridge, obviously. This brilliant tower beat turret ascends from the bustling Centre Point shopping centre. Express lifts whisk guests to the Perception Deck at the top or Skywalk, an outdoors glass floor seeing stage, the ideal spot for touring. While up there, you can appreciate all encompassing perspectives on Sydney and its encompassing rural areas or appreciate some food at one of the rotating cafes or the bistro. Additionally, one offer is a 4D film insight which outlines the city's significant symbols. Number 2. Sydney Beaches Sydney is celebrated for its astonishing sea shows. Tucked around the harbour are many shielded bays with quiet water and sweet sands. Not exactly a 15-minute drive from the city, famous Bondi Beach coaxes with its incredible surf, bistro scene and cosmopolitan vibe. For phenomenal sea seas, go for the beachfront stroll along the bluffs from Bondi to Coogee. Other seashores incorporate Cronulla, the only one effectively available via train from the city, Bronte, Tamarama and Maraubra. Manly is a 30-minute ship ride from the city, a most loved shoreline objective with its beachfront promenade, Gotten Sea Pool and magnificent shops and cafes. Further north from the city, surfers will locate some fabulous breaks at Collaroy, D.Y. and Narrabeen. Swimmers should stay in between the red and yellow banners. Volunteer lifeguards watch the Pacific's riding sea shows throughout the mid-year and run famous life-saving rivalries. Number 1. Barangaroo Reserve Barangaroo Reserve is a superb illustration of a fruitful metropolitan restoration project and an exquisite spot for a stroll along the harbour. Changed from an unattractive compartment terminal, this 22-hectare waterfront region opened to general society in 2015 and is presently home to in excess of 75,000 local trees and bushes. Strolling and cycling tracks, shops, eateries and occasion and show space. It is named after the powerful female native pioneer at the hour of European colonization. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. 
I hope you liked this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.